Do you know what is missing here? I don't own Mona in Genshin, so I have to make do with drawing her. First, I had to think about what pose I wanted to draw her in. And with think, I mean just randomly sketch her a bit. My initial plan was to draw multiple sketches, and then pick one, but in the end, I just went with my first idea. Roughly half an hour into the sketch, I started putting in the colors. The way I usually paint is that I first block in the general colors, and then try to fix the shapes as I go. Later I remove the areas of the sketch that are not needed anymore, after I rendered them enough to work on their own. There's no point in refining the sketch further to me, since I won't end up using those lines in the final piece anyway. The face is the biggest obstacle for me when drawing, so I decided that this time around I'll finish rendering the face first, before doing anything else. I don't want another one of those situations to happen, where I finish drawing everything else, but won't finish the piece just because I haven't rendered the face yet. I used the gradient from bottom to top, with some lighter and cooler shade at the bottom. It's probably always good to put some gradients, or more colors in general, into every object you're painting to add some variations. After I was done with the face, I felt like I could finish the rest of the artwork within the next 3 hours. Oh boy how wrong I was. Next I included the straw, it ended up a bit big, but I also think you wouldn't be able to see it if it was too small. The area around the ear and hand was a bit annoying to deal with. Her hands are on her head, while her hands are covered by hair, just like her ear, which is likewise covering some hair, while the hand covers the ear as well, so everything is covering everything which meant I had to split up some of my layers before I was able to continue. That is one of my least favorite parts about drawing, having to deal with layers. At this point I should have just merged most things like I usually do, but I didn't. That will come back to bite me so many times during the creation of this artwork. After that I rendered the hands more and continued shading the slime and her sleeves for a bit until I started adding the gold parts of her outfit. Adding reflective materials such as metals is always a good choice. When most people think of contrast, they are usually referring to the difference between light and darkness, but there's actually more things that you can consider with contrast. There's also contrast in saturation or hues, or even entire materials and textures. When everything is shaded the same way, it might look monotonous. Gold is reflective and helps break up that monotony. That is also the reason why adding the same type of highlights on everything that should be a different material might look more boring. I'm not good at drawing different materials myself, but at least knowing how to render some basic metallic effects, additionally to how you usually shade, can already help a lot. The more different materials you know how to paint, the better. Next up was the star on her head, which I rendered for a while until I noticed that I got the placement of some stuff wrong. You know, she has a star on one side of her head, and the emblem with a star, moon, and the ribbons on the other side. But who cares about small details like that, right? So I just kept going while hoping nobody will notice. I ended up transforming that star into the emblem with the star and moon, which took me a while. Afterwards, I started fixing some parts of her face, and that concluded day one of working on this. In total, I think I finished about 70% of the artwork so far. Now, it took me 4 hours to get to this point, so you would think I must be done in the next 2 hours. Just rendering the gold parts a bit more, fixing some things here and there, and maybe adding some legs shouldn't take too long. But if you did art yourself before, you know that that's not gonna happen. So let's continue with day 2. 
I started off with adding the submerged part of the straw in the slime, which reminded me that I'll have to do that for her arms and body as well, for consistency's sake. But before that, I added some highlights and outlines to make those parts more distinguished from their surroundings. After adding her ribbon, I could finally erase the last remaining sketch lines of the artwork. I rendered her ribbon as well as head and the hair surrounding it for a while. She's supposed to have two ribbons there, so I'll add that later on. But first, I didn't want the piece to be cropped, so I extended the canvas a bit so that everything fits on the canvas without it getting cut off. Which is a bad habit of mine. First off, it increases the amount you have to render, and hence the time you have to work on it, and secondly, Framing and composition in art is important, and for that it's good to crop the piece where necessary. But I didn't want that in this case. With the canvas extended, I had to fill in the remaining body of the slime, and continued rendering the piece, especially the still unrendered gold part. Since I extended the canvas to create more work for myself, I now had to also add the remainder of her pigtails with more golden accessories at the end of them. Hooray! Following that, I made some smaller tweaks until working on her legs and butt. I had to fix the shape, add shading as well as the golden spiral around her leg, and make sure there's some skin tone shining through her leggings. I had to make sure her elbows show through the slime as well. Next was rendering the emblem on her head that I previously mentioned I messed up the placement of. Now that I made the slime see through around her elbows, I had to commit to it and also add it for the rest of her body. Afterwards, I was doing some more rendering on the golden emblem and other parts of the head. I forgot about the boots so I added those as well, and softened the shadow of the slime. And now, it's time for working on all of that gold that I haven't rendered well enough yet, which is almost all of it. For that, I had to fix the shapes first, before adding highlights and shadows onto them. There was still a bunch of shadows missing in a lot of places, so I added those before I forgot, and then continued with the gold rendering. For her hands, I added skin tone shining a bit through the glove, as well as made it look more like a hand, rather than something AI generated. I had to extend the canvas a bit more because I still needed to add stars at the end of her pigtails. And finally, I got the courage to work on those stars that I procrastinated not to touch. Once they looked acceptable, I had to still refine her pigtails. Right now they're mostly just a solid color of the wall. Her lower body, meaning her butt and legs, were too small, which is why I had to move them out a tad. I realized that the pigtail that touches her fringes looks too similar you can't really discern them from another. To solve that, I tried adding darker colors or even lighter colors. After I added the last stars to the head, it was time for some final touches. I still had to make the gold star pattern reflective though and then added her eyes a bit. I have a tendency to draw eyes very far apart, so I fixed it. 
Next, it was the mouse turn. It wasn't that easy to make it look right, but it ended up okay. And after a bunch of minor fixes and additions, I was finally done. I hope you enjoyed the video, thank you very much for watching. I like how the piece turned out in the end, and I hope you do too. If you're interested in commissions, a link is in the description. Have a nice day. Bye.